Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. You're back to Latif Adedimeji and his woman Adebimpo Yebadi are causing serious trouble with their lovemaking. These two often share their adorable, loving, doving moments on social media platforms and never hide their affection for each other. Even though they try to keep things under wraps and not put too much out there. Even with the very little this to show on social media platform, they seem to be causing serious chaos on social media platforms. A man complains and cries out that they are affecting his relationship, even with the little these two shows, and he pleads that these two should give him space as he's jealous. And in his words, can these two give me space to breathe? Hmm, I'm jealous, so my girlfriend don't run since last week. Also, Latifa Dede Meji is many women's crush, and they do not hide this. So many were heartbroken as he plays hide and seek game with his colleague Bimpo Yibadi. And also, Latifa Dede Meji and Bimpo Yibadi traveled out to enjoy themselves. And some of their fans and followers said that I knew both of you traveled together. See, Bimba Fa, Ikara, and Wateli. Be like, see, this girl don't get belay. Obimpe, leave my husband do. In spite of all this, so many people are still rooting for their love. And their colleague Jidia Obona says that, I love this love. Well, these two started dating a while ago, even though they were hiding under the guise of being friends. But so many of their fans and followers could see through it that they were indeed in love. And as it is right now, these two are married, even though they are hiding it from social media platforms. Their love was recently rocked. When the rumor spread that Latifa Didimeji has a baby mama. However, the woman came out to set the record straight. Latif is not the father of her child. The woman's name is Onyiko Sola Elebuibo, and she's also a Yoruba actress who is now currently residing in the USA. And she said that I don't have a problem with anybody being a journalist or with anybody trying to make ends meet. Do you? But not by hurting others, because at some point, we need to sit back and think about the effect of what we do on the persons involved. It is easy to hide behind our keyboards to insult our leaders and people in the public space without knowing that we as individuals are not better than them in terms of what we do. This is not the first time this will happen. The first time this person would post something about me, I was shocked, but I just let it slide then because I felt my response would only strengthen the news. I am not responding now because of me. As that is the price you pay once you're known. Because if that is not the case, why would everybody believe they are entitled to your private life? They want to know if you have a husband, if you have a child. They want to know. They want to know everything about you because you're a celebrity. Well, the blog that reported this news claimed that only Kosala moved to the USA to cover up Latif as the father of a child. Please stay with us for biographical facts of Latif Adedimeji. His full name is Latif Adetono Adedimeji. He was born in February in 1985 in Oshu, the part of Lagos State. Latif Adedimeji studied mass communication in Olabisi and Obanja University. He's a Nigerian actor who has starred in several movies over the years alongside major names in the movie industry. He also has backed many awards such as 2016 Best of Nollywood Awards for Best Actor in the Legion Yoruba, 2015 Best of Nollywood Awards for Best Actor in the Legion Yoruba, City People Entertainment Award for 2016 Best Supporting Actor of the Year Yoruba, Heritage Award in Atlanta for Best Actor Award for his role in Kudik Lepto, Oudu and Movie Awards for Best Actor Award in 2014 and 2015 respectively, and also City People Movie Award for Best Actor of the Year Yoruba 2018. He also got the Best Actor of the Year in 2020 and also this year, beating major actors in the movie industry like Odunladi Adekola. And Latif Adedimeji is also the face of many brands, both nationally and internationally. For many people who ask where he grew up in, he grew up in the solo part of Lagos State. Even though he was born in Oshudi, he grew up in Jakonde Estate in Isolo, where he attended both his primary and secondary school education. He started acting from the age of 14, at that early age. He later on joined an NGO organization, Community Life Project, where he acquired the skills to act and write. But the first major role that he got in the movie industry was in the movie Kudi Klepto, which was produced by Yuwande Adekoya Abiodu. And since Latif Adedimeji shot into the limelight, he has grown rapidly since then. On the other hand, Adebimpo Yibadi was formerly a professional model before she became an actress. 
Adibimpe was born and bred in Akure in the Ondo state capital. But then she's a native of Ijero in Ikiti state. She's the last child of the family. As a child, Adibimpe wanted to become a newscaster and a Buddha. For schooling, she attended Assets College and Omoliri School, then studied English at Ikiti State University, which is formerly known as University of Adui Kiti. She also underwent a National Youth Service Corps scheme in Benin in Edo State. How she got into the movie industry was by auditioning. She auditioned via social media platform. The title of the very first movie she acted in was Crossroads, which was produced by Yomi Fabi, a veteran Yuba actor. Some of the other movies that are debut in Po Yuba that has acted in include Silent Cry, Teliola Akebaje, Romance, Wounded Heart, Broken Face, Unraveled Airship, and Default, just to mention a few. Her parents have always been supportive of her career. Initially, her mother was skeptical. She asked if Truly, this is what she wanted to do. And then she said this was exactly what she wanted to do because her mother wanted her to go and study for a professional course. But then she maintained that acting was her calling. Apart from being a successful actress, Bimbo Yebadi is also a movie producer. And producing is one of the highlights of her career. She has produced at least four movies, including Dear Sister, Entrapped 0707, A Day to Remember, and Adebimbe Omoba. One of the challenges that she cited when it comes to producing, is the challenge they face while shooting movies, and that is getting good locations. It could be quite tasking, especially when that person is a perfectionist. Getting the right cast also is an issue. It is not about the money to pay them, but getting them to spend enough time on sets because she do because Bing Bay says you won't like to rush your works. But over the years, this model and actress has learned to be patient. She learned that a patient person would never go wrong. Don't rush things, rather let them come to you. She's not saying one shouldn't work towards his or her goals, but don't give up easily because you haven't gotten your desired results. You can achieve anything and get anywhere if you believe. Pray work hard and your patience. For this Yoruba actress, her favorite body part is her skin. Her favorite part is her skin color as it makes her unique in the movie industry. Big Bay says, I'm dark and I'm proud of it. As a matter of fact, I've gotten movie roles because of my dark skin. It is a blessing to me. And yes, Big Bay has been a model almost her life, even before starting the acting career. She was a child model, but because of school, she didn't take it up full time. She started through pageantry back then in school. And then she contested for Miss Culture and won. She also had a manager, but throughout she was just doing a pattern until she finished school and relocated to Lagos State and joined an agency, J and A Models Africa. That was when she started getting jobs. So right now she's still into modeling and she's a commercial model. So far, she has model for big brands in Nigeria, including House of Tara, Glam Cosmetics, just to mention a few. And we have come to the end of this episode where Latifa did Dimeji and the Zuma are causing serious trouble with their love making on social media platforms. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.